Before this video starts, I wanted to inform every single last viewer of this video that I have started a GoFundMe for the Inoue Fulton fight. I'm trying to go to Japan and, and raise some money and get you guys great content out there in Japan. And I'm gonna try to be out there for at least a month and I'm gonna need you guys' help to get you guys that great content and, and make this thing happen. So uh, if you're interested in helping me with that, the GoFundMe link will be down below in the, in the description and in the pinned comments. So uh, help me out and help me help you help True School Sports get to the land of the rising sun for Inoue Fulton. It is the road to Japan. So uh, yeah, help me out with that and uh, enjoy the video. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, the road to Japan continues here on True School Sports. Inoue, Fulton, make sure you guys support the GoFundMe to help me get to the land of the rising sun to cover this fight and give you guys a great uh, boxing experience. Uh, with interviews and, and exclusive content, you know, the link, link will be in the description and in the pinned comments. But listen, man, another most recent update for uh, Inoue Fulton. Interesting stuff, you know. Uh, you know, former WBA light flyweight champion and one of the best that Japanese boxing has to offer, Hiroto Kayaguchi. He was recently speaking on his YouTube channel, and uh, the, the, uh, he did it. I guess he did a video. And uh, this article on one of my, my up on one of my fair websites. It's one of the most visited websites on my computer these days. Uh, Yahoo Japan. Yahoo Japan reported about the story and they transcribed the interview. You can read it in English, so I'll leave it for you guys in the comments down below. But Yahoo Japan pretty much stated that Kyle Gucci was talking to Inoue, and Inoue, uh, Inoue was very overly respectful of Fulton. Let's let, let's see what he had to say uh, about what Fulton what, what Inoue told him about fighting Fulton. He said the following. Inoue said that Fulton was huge. Fulton is 168 centimeters tall and has a reach of 179 centimeters. Uh, Inoue is about 164 centimeters tall and his reach is about 172 centimeters, which is about two times bigger. So I'm really worried about the size. After all you said, you had to build your body like the physical aspects. And then like well, the article also states that like the monster is always overestimating his opponents. So what he does is he, if, if, if an opponent is a C-class fighter, he looks at him as, B, as a B-class fighter. If they're a B-class fighter, he looks at them as an A-class fighter. And it's a way of, of, of him having that healthy respect for his opponent, not to be overly respectful, but to have the healthy respect to push him to go harder in training because he knows that if he doesn't go hard in training, he can get, he can get beat when he gets in that ring. So um, that's just what it's going to be. But uh, Kayaguchi then revealed... Uh, what Inoue said to him about fighting Steve Fulton. He stated the following, and I quote, this is, what, this, is what, this, is what, this is what Inoue told him. I quote, I've unified four Bantamweight divisions. I've, invi I've unified the four Bantamweight titles, but I'm not confident. What is this guy saying? It seems that like he is not confident. I think, it is, I think it is in a good way. It's the first time I've won a group event and I've, I can be proud of myself. It was shocking that I didn't have the confidence after doing all this. It scared me. It's scary that Nayoa Inoue is the one who underestimates Nayoa Inoue the most. I'm looking forward to the class domination, he said in another voice. Um, and that's just what it is, man. So, yeah, pretty much. Nayoa Inoue is, is, is literally giving Fulton a lot of respect, healthy respect, because he knows the challenge that he's up against because he's fighting a guy who's naturally bigger than him. He's fighting a guy who's, who's, domin who's dominated a weight class that he's never fought in at this moment in time. And on top of that, this is a guy that's longer than him, taller than him, bigger than him. So it's the kind of challenge that I believe, right? When, 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 because what, what, what most people don't understand about boxing that aren't like, they don't have, that, that, that don't box themselves or are just fans of the sport is boxing is not um, just that one night you guys see in the ring. Boxing is a, day, a daily sport. Going to the gym, training, strength and conditioning, running mountains, running, uh, you know, swimming. You know, it's a lot, there's a lot of stuff that goes into a world-class fighter's training. And it's a daily sport. And sometimes when, you, when you're a fighter as great as the monster, right? You can fight a lesser opponent and, and sometimes it can cause you to be lackadaisical and relax, right? But, but when you got a guy like Stephen Fulton who's undefeated, who's shown that he can beat fighters at their own game, who's unified champion, who's longer than you, taller than you, bigger than you, and has a lot to prove. He's coming to your country. He's so confident in his abilities. He's coming to your country to take your O and your pound for pound status. 
stuff like this is the stuff of legend and this is like this has to get the monster like when, when he wakes up in the morning and, and he knows he has to train this has to get him like so fired up to to, to just accomplish great things and, and 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 be all he can be in the sport of boxing so i i actually like the fact that there's that healthy bit of respect in that healthy fear of losing because I think without that, we would never see the best in fighters. You, know, you, think of, you think of some of the great performances in boxing history. Think about like uh, Mike Tyson versus Sonny Liston. I shocked the world. I shocked the world. You know, he's not great in that moment if there isn't that that fear factor and that healthy respect for a big time power punching fighter like a Sonny Liston. And it's the same thing when uh, when when you talk about. Noe fighting Fulton. He's got a big task in front of him. People, people make people say Fulton can't punch. People say he's this, he's that. Listen, he didn't get to where he get to uh, in the sport just being some whatever fighter. So uh, I'm very intrigued to see uh, the physical condition and the and the kind of shape that Nayo in a way is gonna come 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 into you know with this fight. I'm looking forward to seeing how Fulton, what Fulton's uh, game plan is gonna be going into the fight, and it's just gonna be a great occasion for boxing, man. And I'm I, I can't wait. I'm gonna make so many videos about this fight. Any article that's written about this fight, there will be a video about it. It's the road. It's the road to Japan, baby. It's the road to Japan. Listen, man. I'm gonna be there. True school sports in Japan. I don't care if it's Tokyo, Osaka, Yokohama, wherever, wherever it's gonna be. Shout, you know, any, wherever it's gonna be, we're gonna make. We're gonna find a way to make it there. And if you guys wanna help me get there, the co the GoFundMe link will be in the description down below and in the pinned comment. So please. Uh, take the time to, to, to go support that any, anything any little bit helps a dollar five dollars a hundred dollars whatever whatever it is it all helps but uh yeah man and nobody's got the healthy respect for fulton and it sounds like he's gonna be ppp more than prepared uh for the task at hand so uh yeah make it that what you will make sure you guys take the time to subscribe and like i say in every single one of these videos you can love me or you can hate me but i'm just a kid from dania so until next time Take it rest. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.